What's up, guys? Tim in the North, back with some more Dave the Diver. Last episode, we knocked out a bunch of Sea People quests. We have a couple more to hand in. Also, I think we're going to be going into some cave that has never been explored in 100 years to try and figure out why the ice is melting from the great weirwood down here. Oh, these people have more missions? I don't feel like doing more of those. I'm getting a currency that I'm probably never going to use. Oh, you're back. My friend had something we could use. Oh, that's right, the statue. That broke and we had to repair it. In that case, please start working on it immediately, Dave. Oh, another mini game. Oh, I got it. <laughs> this thing's gonna fall off again. This feels a little bit more difficult to control than the drill. I think it's just because of the tip. It's probably not the control, it's probably just the, the visual is a little bit off. Wow, it looks completely undamaged. Yeah. Whew. Looks like I managed to glue it on quite well. Thanks so much, Steve. We won't forget this. The rest of the statue collapses. Why do we keep getting these tremors? They seem to be coming at shorter intervals. That's what happens when volcanoes erupt. Oh, King Long, please protect our village. Okay, I'm I'm gonna pass on these other side quests. We have to go into the glacial place. I'm hoping there's new and different kinds of fish down there. Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people's storage. The glacial, the glacier key, passage key is in that place. Suan will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. So I'm the best warrior of the sea people. We'll guide you to the place. Follow me. Oh boy. I can't wait to follow this one. Here, human, go bring me. <laughs> go bring me? Go get it yourself. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked anyway? Hmm, I'm not sure. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere, though. I heard the insane ones attacked other sea people. But that was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Oh, man. Hmm. I am nervous. Are you coming with me? I'm the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. I knew you wouldn't go in. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you are ready, human. All right, let's get this done with. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, it's cold. Key should be a bit, should be deeper inside. A room with a mural, if I remember correctly. Okay. We're in this thing. What is this up here? Nothing I can harvest. There's a silver bowl. What a cute sea bream. It must have come through this, that small crack. Oh, it's a... Okay. Uh, put your harpoon through one of the holes and fire away. 
Holy cow, what is that? Ancient sea people Suam talked about. They are still alive? It's fortunate that they are still locked in the cells. I should not draw their attention. Great. Wonderful. Nope, can't fire through there. All right. This is the horror segment of the game. This must be the room Suwon talked about where there, where the mural is, but. Where is the key? Probably one of the crazy people ate it. The picture seems to imply something. Uh... Oh, do I have to build? Yeah, I gotta build this. Okay. And then we need you? Easiest thing they control. Oh. There we go. Perfect. This other rock. There we got it. Another passage. Oh, I guess that's the key. Oh, the device it must be the glacier passage key. What a creepy place. I better pick pick up the key and quickly leave. I don't know. I kind of want to explore the rest of this and see if I can make a sea people sushi at at last. Playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great though. Shall I return to the sea people village? Is it just gonna go? Oh, it's like Aladdin where you touch something and everything gets angry at you. Turns to lava. Great. Get my gun out. Oh no, another earthquake. I heard something crumble. Uh oh. A lot of cutscenes here. Mm. No, the exit is blocked. And now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them with, without getting caught. Maybe... Don is this is the name of ancient sea people who are mutated for some reason. No guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. Okay, that's not good. pass here. If I hide behind the stone statue over there, we'll go unnoticed. I don't know, you're kind of large. Hide behind stone statues to avoid being seen by Gadon. Okay, uh... We should probably turn our light off. Did he 
you see me? I think we're good. Okay, it's time to get the hell out of here. It's just the way that I just want. Oh, okay. Just can't touch it at all. Oh. <sighs> I'm dead. Treasure. I don't want it that bad. Thanks, though. control right now better lock this door back up dude this guy bitched out I guess he's like I'm out of here oh, I knew Suam was not going to wait for me <coughs> excuse me anyway I got the key now I must return to the hell submarine oh no is this the it is the superhero that's trying to save the water wait you're robbing graves now as if destroying the environment was not enough huh that is the sea peoples be quiet whoever harms the great sea will have to contend with sea blue and the Wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly sea blue armor, RX-93, and its power. God. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> You're an environmental disaster. You're gonna pay now. All right, do I have my gun? John Watson for the second time. No amount of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks very tough. No bullets will penetrate it. What the hell am I supposed to do then? Uh, like this. Oh, the missiles are slowing down. If only I could direct them at him. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? Perhaps, uh... Oh. Okay, we'll avoid that clamp. Oh, okay. He's not just gonna fire missiles the whole time. Okay, can I get the air, please? Oh, that was disappointing. a little bit like Mega Man or something. There we go. Ah! Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but now this one. This will end now. Okay. Get the hell out of here. If 
fire a, a rocket here, dude. What? Okay, we need to get out of here. That was a little too quick. Didn't really get all the auctions that I was hoping for. That figures. Anything to draw this out. eco-friendly sea blue armor rx-93 is i can't forgive you destroying nature it's filled up with water bubbles watching you bubbles <laughs> you are tenacious he's wearing high-tech diving gear should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. All right. See a bunch of complex mechanical parts. We should pick up some samples. It's time to deliver the, yes. The whole thing we came here for. Oh, you actually brought me Glacier Passage Key and told me that he cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up, but I guess it took you some time. Um, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen Gadans? Are they still alive? Gadans? Hmm. This is the dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Uh, we'll do the long version, I guess. Good. I'm going to tell you the story of the Ganons, okay? Let's find out about the zombie sea people. <clears throat> about 800 years ago, the Ganons were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technolo technologically advanced than that of humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. Is that the stuff in the top of the tree? It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However, There are always those who are blinded by greed. Dash, one of the senior technicians, wanted to apply the powers of the fruit beyond mundane purposes. He processed the fruits secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of your ancestors? Yes, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. It sounds kind of like Bioshock right now. But Dash was not satisfied with the modifying... with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the Divine Tree. To do so, he began to infuse the 
extracted energy into an ancient creature called Yali. Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about this? Mm -hmm. About that? At that time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased perf performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Then, one day, he tried to overthrow the government. The bodies of those infused with energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their bodies turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent that they began to attack other sea people. So, they are the monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. Well, that's convenient. King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gadons, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gadons were still alive. That means, maybe, some of them may still be roaming the Glacial Passage. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? And you are expecting me to go there? I beg you. The Sea People have been weakened by our rancing lifestyle. Right now, you are the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and the temperature rising happening in the Glacial area. Okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this. It is my gift for you. Here, take this Sea People's Necklace. Wear this and tube worms in the... Oh, okay, nice. You know, the strange worms that look like sticks. That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suam to guide you to the entrance. I'd rather do it myself. If I have to listen to that clown brag about himself one more time, I might... I might lose it. Anyway. Let's try to catch some fish because now I'm concerned about money. Because we... We had one really bad day where we only got 293 coins. And that's like, that's nice, but not for when you're putting in that much work. So we need to catch more exotic fish and make sushi so we can make more money per plate, I think is the, the dilemma that we're at. There are fireworks going off outside. I was hoping it was thunder, but I just realized that it's it's just fireworks. Where did that fish go? Oh, it's right here. There's a slick one. I'm gonna have to start carrying the neck gun, I think. Oh my god. You know what? Rather than eat up recording time, I think I'm going to pause and then I will meet everybody up topside by the boat. If anything interesting comes up story wise, I will resume recording. But I think it's kind of silly for me to put together like an hour long video of me just kind of running around catching these fish. So I will catch everyone on the other side. Oh, a strong earthquake all of a sudden. 
Earthquakes are becoming more frequent and intense. I should go check if Bancho Sushi is alright. So I just got back up topside and that happened. So good time to come back. I hope I don't have to close the restaurant for the day because of that. Doesn't look like it's damaged. Boncho, I felt a big earthquake. Is your place okay? Took some measures against earthquakes after it crumbled the last time. But I'm not sure how, for how for how long it will withstand a series of strong earthquakes. Is everyone okay? Dr. Bacon. I was passing by and wanted to make sure you were alright. I'm sure you were passing by. You probably had something else you wanted me to do. Well, it looks like everything... Everyone is okay. Dave. What about the sea people business? Is there any problem? None of your business. Um, the heat from the ground is slowly melting the ice of the sea people village. And many sea people got sick because of that. To identify the cause, I need to go down to the glacial area that blocks the heat and investigate. But there seems to be eerie monsters down there and I don't feel safe. Oh, that sounds like trouble, Dave. Why do you look so happy about that? According to the ancient records, sea people are very susceptible to temperature changes. You should go down to the glacial area ASAP and find out what's happening there. It would be honorable to sacrifice yourself for the sea people, even if it means getting frozen. Uh, excuse me. Never mind. We can worry about that tomorrow. Today, we feast and have a fun, lucky time. Uh, I need to make money? Okay, he's here to eat. So, let's see what's on the menu. So I found Sea Toad. That's kind of weird. We're gonna skip this. And we can put salmon snailfish on the menu. Upgrade the crab again. No, we're not gonna we're gonna hold off on that because no, that's fine. Uh do I have anything on the menu that's even like marked as an event food? This curry event that's about to happen, I think we're just gonna have to miss out on it. Serve those seahorse skewers. Ugh. Poor seahorse. Uh, we can put them out, I guess. Cuttlefish. Can't do the Harley Quinns. Great Barracuda. Uh, obtained price. Okay, so this will put the top dollar stuff near the top at least. And we can get rid of a lower dollar thing maybe. Let's <laughs> three. All right. Uh, let's open this thing up. My wasabi really isn't like all that improved. I'm gonna go pour these beers. This guy wants a second beer? Good for you. T 
tea person is gonna have to just not get tea right now. That was a perfectly po pure, that poured beer. Wow, dude, this guy's going for number three. Didn't he throw up in the water the last time? We need another hour to stay open, I think. Dude, why? It's gotta be the pay, right? For employees? Operation. He's gonna drive his boat drunk. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> the wind is always cool and nice at night. I'm sobering up now. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Hmm, the radar of the sea people detected something. But, it's not from the water, just how. I'm receiving signals from this cave. This cave doesn't look like it was naturally formed. Worth an investigation. He's gonna get eaten. Oh, I'm... This guy, Neil? Okay. Sure. What are the symbols? Some of them are red. Enter the cave. What a surprise, a mural in a place like this. Well, it's quite different from the murals of the sea people I saw in the sea. Let me examine it closely. A picture of sea people and humans. Is this something that actually happened? Children of both humans and sea people, are they hanging out together? Hmm, the sea people are giving some shining fruit to humans, perhaps. Okay, and we're going to have to put in the sequence of red things, I bet. So, two, an S, and an M, we'll say it is. I know that's not what the symbols are, but uh, it's just kind of like a, a mental thing for me, I guess, right? gate prior to more zombies. Bravo, the door is open. It looks dark and creepy, but a true archaeologist will never miss this kind of opportunity. Let me see what's inside. Is this all the people who ate the fruit and became nuts? This place. Look at all these bones and torture devices. We must first examine the mural in the back to find some clues. Uh, we need to pick up this chest. Alright, I guess you don't want to? Alright. Did they battle the sea people? It looks like the humans collapsed after eating the fruit. I don't think the fruit is edible. Humans hunted the sea people. Looks like a lot of them were killed. So what- So that's what happened, huh? Humans could live in harmony with the sea people. 
were it not for small misunderstandings. Let's first bring the artifact for further research. So it seems that, like, everyone's like, oh, people are assholes, but they were given fruits that they thought was edible, and then they started dying. People were like, hey, you poisoned the fruit. Uh, breathing apparatus? ABAC people device made for humans? I mean, they've accused me of potentially poisoning them a couple times, I believe. Uh oh, now you're hearing things. What? Who is that? Why is he here? Uh, pirates. What are they doing here? Raiding? Back to the boat. You gotta run right by him. Oh, he got out of there. I bet you he runs back to the sushi place. He's like, hey, Dave, take care of these guys. This is our turf. Give us whatever you have right now. They won't let us go easy. If we stop now, let's get away. Let's get away. Let's get way as far as we can. Oh boy. Escape the pirates. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, we're gonna be like the Titanic and down in JB Jones' locker in a little bit. Oh, couldn't get around to that side. Okay, I can't really steer quickly. I can slow up a little bit. Fainted. I must take this sea people breathing apparatus for further for further study. Get it. Escape the pirates. Oh, this is it. Tends to tell me to talk to Suan of the village. I should check if there are any tasks for me, then head. The Sea People Village. All right. Oh, the rice has already grown. There's an odd energy to this region. Come over to the farm. All right, so we are going to have the ingredients to make this dish for this guy, which is good. The rice has already grown. Let's try harvesting it. Okay. We also gotta pull the weeds out. <laughs> you got the hang of harvesting now, right? Mm. Yes, but can I plant more rice immediately after harvesting? Ah, uh, well, the land needs some time to recover, you know. <laughs> you just need to wait half a day and be able to plant more rice. Okay, I guess that's why the nutrient bar is there. In any case, rice, this quality, should satisfy the director guy as well. I should get this to Boncho. Thank you, Otto. Come by every now and then to manage the land. It'd be such a waste for crops to fall victim to insects. Okay. Okay, there are no weeds. Just, just want to point that out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, I thought maybe he had a shop or something, but I guess he doesn't, and that's okay. We are going to go back to the... Let's go to the sushi bar real quick. We can feed the cat. 
you are low on seasoning, you can send staff to get it. It may take a while, so prepare ahead of time. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna send staff now. Beat our cat. And I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here, guys. When we come back, we will go down to see the sea people, see how they're doing, and probably venture into the glacial area, see what's up there, and then we'll be feeding this VIP and hopefully blow his mind. So for now, feel free to like, comment, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I'll catch you all in the next dive. Peace!